Hello, uh, we are here at TDA. We couldn't hear that first part. So if anyone else is having difficulty hearing us at this time, please type in the comments um, and the organizer will be able to see those. We hope that you all heard that first introduction part. We are excited to be joining you all on this webinar today to share some of the exciting opportunities that TDA has for you to connect with your community, your schools, and connect with them through TDA programs and initiatives. TDA Food Nutrition administers 12 federally funded child nutrition programs. And in those programs, we have different initiatives that help support and increase the awareness as well as statewide participation. Today you'll be hearing from Emily Halinka and myself, this is Jennifer Page, and we will be sharing with you some of the exciting ways and the different venues that you can take to engage your community. Today we're going to cover the Farm Fresh Initiative, National School Breakfast and National School Lunch Week, the Art Contest, the Summer Meals Program, Local Wellness Policy, as well as the Health Ambassadors for Ready Texas. Good morning. This is Emily Case uh, taking over for Jennifer Page. I coordinate the Texas Farm Fresh Initiative in Texas. And this is an initiative that was started by Commissioner Sid Miller when he took office. And it's a really great way to help connect schools, child care centers, and summer meal programs to Texas agriculture. The Farm Fresh Initiative isn't a membership program, but it's more of a movement towards a common goal. And that goal is to make sure students in Texas of all ages, all demographics have access to the best products that Texas has to offer. I'm excited to share some of the benefits of participation in this initiative, as well as some of the current activity that's already taking place statewide. So many districts across the state are doing really amazing, interesting things to connect students back to agriculture, whether it's garden-based learning or serving Texas products in meals and snacks. There's a lot of different ways that as a school district, you can participate in this initiative and movement. So we often refer to the Farm Fresh initiative as a triple win at the agency because kids win schools win and farmers win. For instance, in just one month, districts in Texas serve 54 million meals. That's how many meals were served in the last, last October. So if each school district committed to keeping just five cents or spending just five cents on local foods, that'd be $2.7 million that could be returned back to the Texas community and Texas businesses just by changing your, your purchasing habits. Schools also benefit greatly from participating in this initiative, in this program, as you can see here, Serving and buying local foods can help to boost nutrition and meal appeal. Um, many of you guys might be aware that as soon as a fruit or vegetable is picked, it starts to leach nutrients. So the quicker we can get that meal, that food served, the higher nutrition it will be for the student. It's also a really unique way to engage parents and staff. This seems to be the generation that's most interested in where their food comes from, whether it's your parents or your students. So this is a great talking point for many child nutrition programs to show how committed they are to keeping kids healthy in the child nutrition programs. It also builds great community connections, whether it's farmers coming in and teaching lessons in school, in uh, at lunchtime or in the classroom, kids having the opportunity to go on field trips out to the farm or just getting their hands 
dirty in the garden. There's been a lot of research in the last five years showing that the closer kids are to the production of their food, the more likely they are willing to try it and then actually like it and continue to consume it. So that's building that self-efficacy in students to make healthy choices for a lifelong of good eating habits. So one of the easiest ways that schools can start participating in this program is through our annual Farm Fresh Challenge. And it's really a month long push in October to serve more local foods, to teach more education that's based in agriculture, and to communicate via social media using hashtag Texas Farm Fresh so we can build a statewide megaphone of positivity around Texas agriculture and school meals. This past year in 2018, 232 school districts took part in this program and spent over $2.6 million on local foods. If you are interested in finding out if your child's school district participated, we have a list of all participating districts on squaremeals.org forward slash Texas Farm Fresh. And coming in the next few days, we'll actually have a list of their award levels in that challenge. We had three award levels this year, the best of the bunch, sharp cheddar and prime participant, and we're excited to announce those winners. If you have questions about the Farm Fresh Challenge, I'm really excited to answer those and tell you guys how you can encourage your child nutrition directors to sign up and participate. So we have a lot of resources that can really help you take the next steps and get connected to local agriculture in your communities. The first one I'm going to talk about really briefly is our Farm Fresh Network. That's our database of producers that have indicated they're interested in connecting directly to schools. We have reached that 100 member milestone recently and we're really excited to see how this network continues to grow in the next few years. What's so nice and helpful about this network is it really consolidates contact information, product availability, distribu and distribution radius. So if you are hoping to encourage your child nutrition program to buy more local foods, you can connect them to this resource really easily. If you're just looking to learn more about seasonality in Texas, we have one of the most fun interactive seasonality wheels that I've ever seen. It's easy to access at squaremeals.org forward slash seasonality wheel. You can click on uh, the month to bring up a list of products. You can click on a product to bring up a list of months that food is available. But we always encourage family members, child nutrition, all programs to try to focus on eating seasonally because of that increased health benefit and also it's lower cost and more accessible if you're gonna buy at a farmer's market or plan your meals around seasonality. Harvest of the Month is another really fun program we have at TDA, and that's a highlight of seasonal avail seasonally available produce with posters, recipes, and handouts, and those resources are available for print in both English and Spanish. Let's Get Growing is a great resource for parents and family members looking to start a sustainable and fulfilling garden program at their school. It really steps you through how to build a garden team, how to make sure ensure safety, food safety and physical safety, and then how to engage your community on this great program you've gotten started. Menu ready recipes can be found in Cooking for the Seasons. We have nearly I think it's around 60 recipes that are created specifically for child nutrition pro programs that focus on seasonally available fresh products. They're all organized by their season. It's a bright and colorful recipe book with amazing recipes such as buffalo cauliflower and a prosciutto and arugula pizza. Really great things to get kids excited about trying fresh produce. As I already mentioned before, we have resources to help encourage C&Ds, ch uh, child and adult care food programs, and summer feeding programs all take part in the Farm Fresh Challenge. And our motto for that one to keep it top of mind and easy to remember is eat local, 
teach local and be social. It's a fun one because it really fits the full plate of getting kids excited about child nutrition and local foods. Finally, we have our newest resource, and that's a guide to integrate taste tests seamlessly into child nutrition programs and in the classroom. We have printable posters, templates to make pencils, um, so many things, table toppers. It, the list goes on and on and on, and it's just really a nice way to think about how you can use taste tests not only to drive participation in your program, but to um, encourage kids to get out of the get out of their rut and try new foods and learn to love them and reduce that food neophobia. So that's all I have today for the Farm Fresh Initiative. I look forward to any questions you might have about how to start, how to get connected. We have two great rest, uh, web resources. The first one is listed on the left side of this slide, and that's squaremeals.org forward slash Texas Farm Fresh. The second one is farmfreshfriday.org, and that has some really great resources for parents and family members to get connected with their child nutrition program and bring the farm to school. Thanks, Emily, for sharing. Farm Fresh always has so many exciting ways and kids truly do get excited about eating their fresh fruits and vegetables in schools. Speaking of schools, today, now we're going to cover the National School Lunch Week and School Breakfast Week campaign. Each year throughout Texas and the United States, students celebrate National School Lunch Week and School Breakfast Week. These are annual celebrations to encourage kids to be excited about eating healthy, nutritious meals from their food service areas, whether that is their school cafeteria, snack bar, a la carte line, Schools are doing really great innovative things and in incorporating farm fresh products to make it healthier and more nutritious and delicious for kids to eat at school. So our outreach team each year helps promote these two campaigns. And we encourage schools, PTA members, SHAC committees to all get involved and help really be champions for these two initiatives. Across the state, schools are doing incredible things to help provide additional education to students about healthy eating through my plate or hands-on experiential learning activities. And so through these two weeks, schools are provided outreach materials, bookmarks, educational materials, activity sheets. So I encourage you to work with your child nutrition department or your child nutrition director to see how you can get involved in their campaigns. You will find the resources that are available at squaremills.org forward slash NSLW or SPB. And on this, there are handouts as well as implementation guides. And in those implementation guides, schools are highlighted for their exciting efforts that they are doing to take National School Lunch Week and School Breakfast Week one step further. So if you have a school that you would like to highlight, please share that information with us and always include pictures and activities of what they have done. This past year, the theme was Level Up with a Healthy School Lunch. And that brings us into the art contest. So schools are encouraged to participate in the You Art What You Eat Art Contest. This is a statewide student engagement effort that incorporates student learning through using their imagination and illustrating a healthy school meal. Students are awarded the opportunity to have their art as part of the themes as you saw on the page before. So the student artwork is truly what drives the theme of the campaign for the next year. Art contest winners are also displayed at the Capitol and there is an exhibit set up to award the first, second, and third place winners of each category. 
And so if you know of any art teachers or inspiring artists out there, please have them complete their application by submitting the art contest drawing for each year. In this upcoming year, it is due in April. And so if you, can everyone hear us? Yes, everybody, yes. Can you hear me? You would, can, if you would like any more information about the art contest, please visit squaremills.org forward slash art contest. And that's where all of the guidelines and student submission packet can be found. Summer Meals is a exciting way for students to have resources and access to food all year long. Across the state of Texas, many students go hungry during the summer. And, and there's roughly 69% of our students that qualify for free and reduced price meals, average, totaling about 3.5 million students across the state of Texas. However, there's only 8% of those students that are able to attend a summer meals program. So we need support from you all to help promote the summer meals campaign. Resources can be found on squaremeals.org forward slash summer meals program, but there's also ways you can get involved in your community. There will be a jot form or a form posted for you to order those materials. I encourage you to be a voice in your community. Help champion the effort, and as Emily said, build the megaphone for community support and outreach. Summer Meals has an impact, and it's a greater impact for students that are going hungry. Each summer, we have a, the opportunity to visit Summer meal sites and, and to see the students excited about eating healthy, nutritious meals, and it's even better when it's incorporated with the Farm Fresh Challenge. Students are excited about eating healthy fruits and vegetables all summer long, and it's a great way to be active, be engaged, and have additional activities during the summer. Many sites incor are incorporated with a US or a Boys and Girls Club, a YMCA recreation facility, and many of the sites work with libraries to where you have a book club or or a summer reading. So summer meals are more than just meals for kids, but it's ways to continue learning all summer long. Hi, my name is Helenka Ostrom and I work with TDA overseeing some of our community outreach and student engagement programs. I'm gonna to talk to you now a little bit about our local wellness policy committee. This committee is composed of stakeholders from around the state who come together and provide feedback and input for resources that we can create as a group that schools can then utilize to help develop their local wellness policy. All schools that are participating in the National School Lunch Program are required to also have a local wellness policy. And this policy is at the district level and it is a board adopted document that guides a local education agency or school district's efforts to establish a school environment that promotes students' health, well being, and ability to learn by supporting healthy eating and physical activity. So, as organizers of the committee, we bring people together from all over the state for bi monthly um, meetings to talk about what areas are still needed. Um, where we can identify content for schools, um, reviewing resources that have already been created so that we can put those on our webpage so that schools have access to those. Um, and then helping to develop some more materials this year for schools to take that local wellness policy and transition it to an implementation plan. So the implementation plan describes how the local education agency will implement the written policy. 
and the plan should be updated to meet emerging needs and priorities of the community and it should be have a real community focus um, so across school districts all school districts have to have a school health advisory council and those members are the ones that are typically writing the local wellness policy if you are a part of a very large school district you might have smaller wellness teams um, or individual schools as well uh, so we are putting together resources and they are available on the tda webpage which is squaremeals.org backslash local wellness policy we're really excited about this new design that we have and we're gonna be using that to identify all of the resources we create. So we have a web page now that has the requirements for local wellness policy and also a web page that has resources for local wellness policy. Um, how to write a policy, how to write an implementation plan, and then ideas for activities that you can do. And um, stories of success stories from around the state and around um, the nation as well for how people have taken local wellness policies and put them into practice within their school districts to create healthy environments for all of their students. The next part that I'm going to talk to you about are, is the HEART initiative health ambassadors for a ready Texas. Now this is TDA's first year implementing this program and we are really excited that we have just kicked it off this January. So this is a program for high school students across Texas to have them engage and champion healthy eating and wellness within their school community. We released applications for this program in the fall and we really um, received a very high volume of applications, which we were really excited to see. We had a committee come in and review those applications and they selected 26 health ambassadors that we are moving forward with. They've just been notified on Friday that they are going to be in the program. We've gotten some very excited emails back from them and their school nutrition directors and principals who are really excited that students will have the opportunity um, to act as leaders within their school and help to promote wellness. And the students are going to be challenged to promote TDA programs and initiatives to raise awareness and increase participation in TDA programs. And the health ambassadors are students enrolled in grades 9th, 10th, or 11th in a Texas school that is participating in the National School Lunch Program. And resources, if you want to see what the Heart students are up to, we'll be adding to this web page as we go on throughout the year. But you can find those resources at squaremeals.org backslash heart. So what things will they be working on this year? Their mission is to promote TDA child nutrition programs like school breakfast, school lunch programs, summer meals, um, and some TDA initiatives like the Farm Fresh initiative, and then to improve their overall school health environment. And also finally to provide food and nutrition program feedback to TDA, because since students are the end user of all of our programs and end recipients, we really wanna get their feedback to see how we can improve and make it better for everyone. So you've heard from Emily, Holinka, and myself regarding ways that you can get involved in your school or in your community. And we are challenging and encouraging you to decide how you can make a difference. Our school students and our students across Texas are our future leaders of tomorrow. They will help make the world a healthier and better place and and we encourage you to get involved whether that is with being a member of your local wellness policy or helping support the farm fresh initiative or just simply sharing information about tda programs and initiatives to help increase awareness and as halinka mentioned with the heart initiative 
many students out there are doing incredible things. And here at TDA, we want to highlight those efforts and encourage other students to follow the same roads and champion those healthy eating habits and, and being involved with different programs in their communities. So if you know any farmers or ranchers that would be interested in joining the Farm Fresh Network or schools that would be interested in having a garden or simply helping share information about the summer feeding program, everything we do can make a difference. And we encourage you to help make a difference in your community and in your school. And if at any point you need to bounce ideas, brainstorm, or discuss, any of us at TDA are here, and we're happy to help you with that in community engagement piece. I have, in we've included our email addresses. If you would like to contact any of us directly, please feel free to do so. And at this time, we will turn it back to our organizer for any questions. Thanks, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay, because I I'd, uh, switched from phone to uh, the computer since for some reason no one was hearing me. Okay, I'm trying to get my slides to come up now. So while I'm trying to put up a slide that says, do you have any questions? Um, I did have a question. Uh, were, are there grants available through TDA to support school gardens or some of these different initiatives that uh, are available out there? That's a great question. So annually we have the X3Es grant, the expanding 3Es grant. That application period takes place in this fall each year with awards going out in the springtime. Those grants are up to $10,000 per school site and up to $50,000 per district. It is a competitive grant. We received over 50 applications for our funding this year and we hope to award in the next few weeks really. But look for um, TDA grants can be found on texasagriculture.gov and then searching by your population. We also publish some of that information on our Square Meals website too, but definitely the, that, the general texasagriculture.gov website is a good place to go for that grant specifically. So that's our TDA grant. Um, there's quite a few private funds for school gardens. The first two that come to mind are the Whole Kids Foundation and Annie's Organics. They often have grants available for school garden products. And then just speaking with small businesses or your local hardware store in your communities and let them know this is something you're wanting to get started with. We hear many stories of collaborations and partnerships between schools and um, local hardware stores for donations of equipment or soil or working with your local nursery for seeds. But generally, this is such a feel good thing. There's so many people that want to get involved and get coordinated. Um, one of the biggest challenges with gardens is finding kind of a lifelong champion. And that's what's so great about our Let's Get Growing resource. It really explores the best ways to make sure your garden program lasts beyond that parent advocate or that one teacher advocate and you build in a strong sustaining team. So that's the biggest grant through TDA for funding. And then I absolutely encourage you all to just do a quick Google search for garden grants in Texas and you'll find quite a few options that have funding levels from 50 to $50,000. Awesome. Uh, are there any other questions out there? We <clears throat> we still have a few minutes. You guys did a great job. I'm very excited. Just some key points to, to remember. Um, be sure and work on 
uh, National Breakfast Week, which is March 4th through the 8th. It's always great. If you're in an elementary school, you can invite high school kids to come have breakfast with your elementary school students. And it's always a lot of fun or uh, even have a parent breakfast day. But be, be creative and help support your school meals program at your schools. Um, then don't forget the student art competition in April. Um, that, I think, is a fabulous way to help our kids, you know, relate back to the work we're doing. Um, local wellness policies, if you're not involved with your school health advisory council, you should try to get involved. Um, they work on everything around school meals, around food fundraisers, um, as well as recess and other um, things that impact our students' health. Uh, and there's a lot of great resources. Uh, I've been uh, excited to work with the Texas Department of Agriculture, and they're doing a wonderful job of working with Texas Association of School Boards and other state agencies and organizations to make sure that school districts have all the information they need for those wellness policies. Um, squaremeals.org slash heart slash wellness policies. Um, all those things are available to you. We will be sending this PowerPoint out <clears throat> and it does have information, contact information on all three of our presenters. So if you're looking for something specifically around Farm Fresh or um, around wellness policies, you will be able to contact the right people. And um, the, I'm real excited about the Student Health Ambassador Program and giving our youth an opportunity to participate in uh, their future, really. Um, I don't see any additional questions um, at this time. So if you think of something later, be sure and just reach out to either me or you can reach out to the individually to our partners at the Department of Agriculture. And also, this has been up for a while, um, the screen. So I'm sure you've noticed we have our annual summit on February 1st in San Antonio. You can come talk in person to uh, several of these ladies um, at that event, as well as see a lot of other partners um, um, Amelie Ramirez is going to share information on their work with the Hispanic community. Uh, we have presenters on recess. We have a session uh, by some of our youth ambassadors with Texas uh, AgriLife Extension and Dairy Max. Um, so I think it's a really strong event. The registration is $50. It's being held at the Regional Service Center in San Antonio. And it's a great opportunity to learn more and uh, interact with all the different people who are working around school health and, and recess and school gardens. So uh, I strongly encourage you to um, go to our website and look for the uh, summit and get some more information on that. Or email me, uh, Michelle Smith at uh, actionforhealthykids.org. So if there are no additional questions, I'm going to check this and you're going to, and I don't see any, we're going to give you back a few minutes of your day. Um, everybody always loves it when you finish early. And thank you so much, um, everyone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Emily and Jennifer and Helenka for sharing your time and the wonderful programs that are going on at Department of Agriculture. Um, please take advantage of these resources. So many of them are free and downloadable. Check out the grants and um, use the opportunities we have to promote healthy eating um, on these special event days as they're coming up. Um, we also have some additional webinars around school health advisory councils and other topics coming up this spring. So check the event calendar on our national website under Texas and you'll see those. And we hope you have a great spring. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks.